King Charles has thanked the public for their support in a video message to a service celebrating Commonwealth Day. In a virtual address to Westminster Abbey, he called for unity and pledged to continue serving the Commonwealth. The monarch stepped away from public-facing duties following his cancer diagnosis announcement on 5 February. Prince William attended the service in his first public appearance since his wife Catherine, Princess of Wales, was admitted to editing a family photo. The king described diversity as the Commonwealth's core, strength, and said the 56 countries comprising it were a precious source of strength, inspiration, and pride to him. In recent weeks, I have been most deeply touched by your wonderfully kind and thoughtful good wishes for my health and, in return, can only continue to serve you, to the best of my ability, throughout the Commonwealth, he added in the video messages. My belief in our shared endeavors and in the potential of our people remains as sure and strong as it has ever been. Commonwealth Day, a major fixture in the royal calendar, risks being overshadowed by the fallout from the Catherine photo controversy. Her husband, Prince William, joined Queen Camilla for the service along with members of the royal family. But the Princess of Wales was absent, as she recovered from abdominal surgery performed in January. Kensington Palace confirmed Catherine had left Windsor in a car with William earlier, as he was driven to the service. She did not attend, but is understood to have a private appointment. The day's theme of resilience came as the royal family grappled with how to manage intense public interest in the King and Princess of Wales's health issues. The King's message stressed the need for unity within the Commonwealth. I have no doubt that we will continue to support one another across the Commonwealth as, together, we continue this vital journey. A group of protesters from the Republic Campaign Group gathered near Westminster Abbey. Graham Smith, chief executive of Republic, accused the royals of using the Commonwealth as a vehicle for their own PR. The platitudes we heard from Charles and Camilla only served to paper over serious concerns about human rights abuses and a lack of democracy in many Commonwealth countries, he said. 